Yes. Oh. Because you put your hands just like that, because that's exactly how you yes. ran. Oh it's my one God. of the newest sports bars in the area, and today it's also the perfect destination for you and Dad. Kevin Hernandez joins us live from Gooseport in downtown Roseville with what's on tap. Okay, I want to know about the name too, Kev. Gooseport? Yeah, so actually, that's a really interesting. Yes, so Gooseport, it's a really interesting story. We're going to bring in Al Santos, who's the owner here. Okay, so first off, Al, uh, our anchors in studio want to know how did Gooseport get its name? And you've told me this story, and it's a good one. Yeah, well, essentially, um, I played a lot of baseball growing up. Mm -hmm. I had a uh, baseball coach who was sort of an old school guy, and mm -hmm. he asked me, you know, my last name is Santos, Al Santos. And he's like, okay, Santos, what is that? And I said, well, it's Portuguese. He kind of thought about it, thought of it. He goes, well, your name is Porta Goose. <laughs> and so I just flipped it. And, yeah. and so now it's stuck all these years. And so yeah. you're one of Roseville's brand new sports bar, but it actually is great for the whole family. So tell us a little bit about Gooseport and what it is that you serve. Because, I mean, again, this is going to be the place to bring Dad today for Father's Day, right? <laughs> yeah. Well, I think, you know, we're primarily a sports bar. Mm -hmm. And with our food, we're doing a lot of pub types of mm -hmm. food. Uh, but we want to elevate it a little bit. So we're putting sure. twists on things, new sauces, yeah. new different flavors to it. So, um, yeah, you know, I think that we're just trying to be something that, that people know, but also just add something that's like, wow, okay, we're at a, we're at a place that's uh, trying to give us a little bit extra. Absolutely. Now, you don't open until 1130, but we guarantee that this place is going to be packed. You don't need reservations, right? However, uh, come early if you want to get a spot. Now, let's talk about some of the stuff that you serve. I mean, you guys, um, you have um, different beers on tap, so tell us a little bit about those. Sure. We have 21 beers on tap. We'll have 22 here in a little bit. We're doing a Gooseport version that'll be ready in a few days. Mm -hmm. Uh, and then beyond that, we've got everything you can think of from a hazy to a regular IPA to mm -hmm. dark beers, a Guinness. So we try and have something for everybody, which really sort of encapsulates what Gooseport is. We're trying to be something for everybody. Absolutely. Now, again, you've been open just a short time, but so far, what is the, what is the food item that's been selling out or that people really dig? Well, without a doubt, it's our burgers. Our Gooseport burger itself is just off the chart uh, as far as our numbers with it. So it's just great. People seem to love it. We're mm -hmm. happy about that. We have a unique bun that goes with it. So, um, you know, it's definitely our burgers. We do a really great uh, steak quesadilla, which unfortunately mm -hmm. we don't have a picture of here, but that thing is off the charts, too. Absolutely. Now, what's really great about Gooseport, uh, Camby and Tina, is right upstairs is actually an extension of Sierra College. So I'm sure this has been a hangout spot for a lot of college students who are maybe wanting to get some study done, grab a quick bite, and then they go right upstairs to their classes, right? Yeah, there's no doubt about it. I mean, they come down here. They only have a half hour. They're sure. all pretty focused, but we get them fed and back up there, and they're good and happy. Maybe they're a little sleepy for that half hour after that. But, <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Now, again, come to Gooseport. It's a fantastic place. Where are you located? So we're at 316 Vernon. We're right across from City Hall in downtown Roseville. Mm -hmm. Vernon Street is a street that's really coming along. There's yep. quite a few restaurants on this street. We're really happy to be here. I think it's just going to be a great fit for years to come. Fantastic. All right. So, again, happy Father's Day. Happy Father's Day to yourself. You. You're a dad. You're working today. Yeah. Happy Father's Day to all the dads out there. Come on out here. Uh, we'll send it on back to you in studio. And happy Father's Day to your dad, Kevin. Yes, happy Father's Day to my dad and my brother-in-law, Chris. He's a brand oh, new that's dad, right. uh, two weeks old, or, or four weeks old, excuse me. Yes, yeah, so it's How first exciting. Father's Day, so he's pretty excited. He gets another holiday. I <laughs> <laughs> love it. Well, there's word of